Howdy all of you delicious people, I'm here today to review Hotel Artemis. Even though this is a movie probably just available via rent or buy or, or justifiably whatever you want to do. I really just wanted to watch this movie because I enjoyed it uh, when I saw it once before. So I was like, you know what, like, there's some times when I just want to go on and just watch a film. <laughs> I just do. And Hotel Artemis just seemed to be one of those. So... For those of you, like, this movie kind of gives me John Wick vibes when eventually John Wick is to go into this one, like, hotel where all the hitmen are to not be able to kill anybody in this place uh, or they will go on and be uh, killed afterwards. When I go into this story, I kind of feel like this is kind of similar to that. Um, but I also just really liked, uh, I really just enjoyed and liked this film where we of course have one woman who is played by Jodie Foster, who is this, this nurse who is consistently having a number of people come in and having to consistently take care of them with, of course, the assistance of Everest, who is Dave Batista. It's kind of interesting when I... Uh, I heard about certain things of what would um, people say uh, about this movie or just kind of trivia things. Like, I found out that, I guess, uh, Dave Batista has in his contract that every four hours he has to, like, he has to eat. Um, and that's kind of put into his contract. I'm like, well, yeah, it makes a lot of sense because... When you really think about it, like, uh, a actor probably has, like, 16-hour days or whatever, like, really long days um, for probably certain uh, certain characters. And so, yeah, so, like, going on, it makes a lot of sense to probably, if you have a really long stretch of a day, to have to eat every four hours. Um but also, like, we had it where, like, Jodie Foster in this movie, like, they asked her, it's like, well, hey, like, wh who is the, like, the most interesting character uh, that you met in this movie or that you got to, like, eventually be with in this film? And Jodie Foster immediately says, like, yeah, Dave Batista was the most interesting uh, guy I met on this movie because I've never seen somebody eat so much. <laughs> But, yeah, but, like, the guy was, like, big and muscular, and, like, I'm sure he was, like, still having to be this, like, big, massive guy, and so, like, because that's what the movies wanted, uh, and plus this was, like, probably right around, like, him having to still, like, be in a certain kind of shape for, like, the Guardians of Galaxy movies and whatever, so he had to be just a really big guy, um... And so then he, like, started to, like, really thin out. So going on into this film, we have Jodie Foster, who is to play this nurse, and she is to go on uh, into this, this uh, hotel complex and is to take care of a number of people. And all these people are to go on and have these special accounts that are to be paid up for any time they are to of course like they have to have a membership to go into this place to be like uh secretly like taken care of so going on a lot of these people are to really just be thugs here uh because it's the like unsavory people and so we go on into this story and it seems like right outside this environment there's a riot that's going to break out and all of these like having to take care of all these people are just kind of sewn and and uh and and placed in with this film and there's a riot breaking out like three blocks uh from uh from this place but yeah, so we have some interesting characters who come in here and break the rules at some point and either 
uh, they break the rules or even the nurse breaks her own rules. But yeah, so we go on into this story and I just, I thoroughly enjoy it. I think that it's a great piece. I think it's a story that uh, people could uh, kind of watch over and over. It's not one of those where uh, you'll get old with the film. Uh, like, I could say that this movie does have like a slow paced thing about it. But yeah, um, still feel like it's a it's a pretty good piece. So with that said, where can I go on and recommend you to go on and watch this movie? Well, mostly you would probably go through in a, in a paid route. You can go on a Amazon or a Vudu or something like that and rent this movie. Uh, but I'll give you possibly a free way to say you can see this movie. So one off would be to immediately go on and search the word letter C movies app and be able to hopefully through this search be able to find an app you can download and be able to hopefully see this movie that way. You can also go on uh, to another app regardless of what I say uh, after this, this first set of words. Fox HD movies, uh, and what I'll say after this will will be just rigmarole to just understand this app. So, Fox HD movies will be the logo of the the thing, and the actual title will say "Play 1080p HD movies." Uh, search Fox HD movies, and you'll be able to go on and hopefully uh, find an app that you can dare in fact download, and you'll be able to see whatever you like. You can also go on to a Google Play Store and search the word TV Crush, which will lead you to a app where a logo will say HD Movies with a king crown off to the side or just a crown off the side. Download that app and dare in fact be able to uh, to go on and hopefully be able to either see Whole to Alarmus or a number of other movies you can see for absolutely free. So with that said, uh, I think, yeah, I think I, I've kind of, uh, kind of in a cryptic like sense, uh, gone on and talked about this movie. So let's just go into spoilers. Hopefully I'm going to be able to, uh, rattle this movie off and, and call it a day. So, Anyways, I think it's about that time to just go into that double five time territory because it's about that time yet again to just go into spoiler time. It's spoiler time. It's about the time you to spoil this movie. So, the very beginning of this piece, we of course have uh, Waikiki, uh, who is to go on with a number of thugs to go on and uh, try to rob uh try to rob a bank i believe in the beginning of this movie so we go on and we have honolulu uh who and if you go through imdb you know exactly what i'm saying here we have waikiki that's on the top here and we have honolulu that's actually at the bottom here so uh, i guess it's a good thing that i have all these characters here so we have these two characters and they are, of course, robbing this place. And it seems that Honolulu is, of course, wanting to take this guy's pen. Not really realizing that this pen has diamonds inside of it. And these diamonds are very highly priced. So come to find out Honolulu, without realizing it, was to steal... Uh, from Jeff Goldblum's character, who is Franklin, who is, I guess, the uh, the Wolf King, um, or really also just uh, eventually he's to be called uh, Nigeria in this movie. So we go on and we have Waikiki and Honolulu with uh, with a guy named. Uh, book or buck they all of a sudden are to try to make it out of this place that they had just robbed to realize that the getaway car is gone so all of a sudden we have a number of this police force 
that is to gun down a number of these uh, armed robbers. And it only leads both Honolulu and Waikiki left, uh, left alive to eventually go on to Hotel Artemis. Because we have um, Book, who goes... Uh, B-U-K-E. We have Book who goes with them, but Book does not go and is to get accepted into here, and I'll, and I'll explain all this. So we have these three guys, and so we have Waikiki who makes the call to the nurse to let uh, her know he's coming. So we have it where the nurse is to go on and she is to kind of prep for everything. So it seems that Book is to had some like counterfeit like membership. And so we have it of course where the nurse is to bring up Everest, who is actually Dave Batista. And bring him in to take care of Book. Um, because it seems like he won't leave, so Everest is going to make him leave. So, Everest goes on and is to grab this guy and is to, like, kick him out. And so, Book, in revenge, is to try and choke out Everest, but Everest is to kind of get the, get the grab of the, of whatever this guy is choking him with smash him against this uh this kind of concrete thing and and just kind of tell him like hey man like i'm a professional um i'm a professional like uh, medical worker you know what that means <laughs> so everest is telling boo it's like well hey i'm gonna walk away and if you jump on me again like i'm gonna hurt you so Book is like, well, hey, like, I'm really hurting here. And Everest is like, well, like, then apply for a membership. So, like, so Everest goes on and he is to eventually have to work uh, with the, uh, with, of course, the generators uh to make sure that this place is to stay working or stay like that the power is to go on because it seems like all heck is breaking loose that there's a possible riot three blocks away from where they live and so on and so forth so we go on and we have the nurse who is dealing with honolulu and we also find out that the nurse doesn't want any guns in her uh, in her hotel. So if anybody's to have any guns, uh, she has them pull them all out. And then eventually I'm sure they'll like get re-get these guns when they leave. So Honolulu, we have the nurse who's taking care of Honolulu trying to get some of these bullets out. So we go on and... We have the nurse who's telling Waikiki, like, hey, I thought you got out. And Waikiki is just like, well, like, you know how it is. Like, uh, like I thought I could get out. But, like, she's like, well, yeah, like, you kept, like, paying your, like, membership. So, like, I'm assuming you knew that you were going to end up here. You are going to end up back up here. So... The nurse is to mention about this story that she used to have this stray that she would go on and have to consistently like medically take care of it like go on and just really um like nurture this this pet and then all of a sudden one day the the pet was to go on and was to get hit by an 18 wheeler and it died so Nur the nurse is to really tell Waiki uh, Waikiki that it's like, well, hey, like, she should probably cut somebody loose or, like, eventually, like, he's just going to become that 18-wheeler. So, and even the nurse is to mention to Honolulu 
that it seems that this guy is injecting himself with a bunch of drugs and why Kiki is like, well, I thought Honolulu would have given that up. And the nurse is like, no, I, of course not. So, so yeah, so we go on and the nurse is taking care of him. And it seems while that's going on, we have Acapulco, uh, who, of course, is Charlie Day, who, of course, would be the very scarred up face that we see in the corner here with the card. So... Charlie Day, uh, of course, is to be Acapulco, and he is to uh, start complaining about, like, well, hey, like, what am I, kind of chop liver? What about my eye? So we go on and we have the nurse who is to leave uh, from uh, Waikiki here in Honolulu to go and uh, fix up Acapulco and is to kind of fix up, fix up his kind of scars. And so... We have it to where Acapulco is to ask nurse, uh, the nurse about like, well, hey, like, what about my eye? And we have it to where the nurse is just like, well, like, they have certain people for that. Like, they have, like, implants and all kinds of stuff. And he's like, so wait a minute, like, what do I, what did I come to you for? And she's like, well, like, for, like, me to just kind of, like, just clean you up <laughs> kind of thing, like. Uh, for maintenance like uh there's nothing that she can do with this guy's for this guy's eye so we so we go on and we have this guy who is to consistently have this card and we find out that this card is to have this special thing with it so we so we go on and we of course have crosby franklin that at some point is to call this nurse and is to mention like, well, hey, like, like I need you to hold a reservation uh, for, uh, for me. And so the nurse is just like, well, like 52 minutes out, like there's no way I'm gonna hold a room for you. And we have it to where, of course, consistently Crosby is cussing and cussing and cussing to the point where, like, the nurse just keeps hanging up with him. And Crosby is just like, well, do you know who you're talking to? And the nurse just hangs up on him because he's like, I don't, I'm not going to take this gar crap. So Crosby is to finally mention that, like, the Wolf King uh, or Je Jeff Goldblum's character is to go on and need to be seen by uh by the nurse and she's like well like i'm not going to like even for him i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna have favorites so like you just need to come here before someone else reserves this thing so come on like come here before someone else reserves it so crosby ends up getting ticked and he ends up welding the door shut uh so like no one else would come in there. So all of a sudden, while both uh, Everest and the nurse are realizing that this is happening, they also go on and are to see, like through one of these cameras, that Morgan is desperately calling out for uh, this nurse. And so Morgan is to go on and like mention this girl by name and that she knows her so the nurse goes on and she's like well like i guess i'm gonna need to go on and like and help this girl and everest is just saying like no <laughs> like don't don't go out there like she's a she's a cop we can't bring anybody in here that's a cop if we do like we'll lose all credibility and like the nurse is just like, well, I brought you in now, didn't I? And that worked out pretty well. And so, but that's, that's a different story. This is a cop here. So, so the nurse, the only reason why she's bringing in uh, Morgan here is because she's family and she knows this girl. So the nurse goes on and is to decide to herself go outside and normally she doesn't go outside because 
she is to, of course, be very, uh, like, fearful about about heading even a couple of uh, steps outside. It seems like it's been a couple years since, uh, since really being outside. And plus, it's 20-some years uh, since she's really gone out of this, uh, this place. So... We so we go on here and we have the nurse who goes on and collects this girl and all of a sudden all hell is breaking loose while uh of course the nurse goes on and does this. So the nurse goes on and is to try to collect Morgan and we have these thugs that are like are getting like injured and whatever. And so they try to steal this doctor bag. The nurse is like, no, 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 I need that. Like, if anything, you guys can take this I these items and just get out of here. And all of a sudden, these, en these guys end up getting shot. And we have these kind of these officers that come in. And so all of a sudden, they're kind of looking at this nurse. And, like, the more and more that she, like, is to try to convince them of things, the more they're just like, well, hey, how about we just kind of arrest her? Um if she keeps giving a slip. So all of a sudden Everest comes in and starts beating the crap out of these guys and starts to just go on and fling this, uh, this kind of item at him. So that takes down all these guys. And so Everest is kind of telling nurse like, Hey, let's, let's get going. So all of a sudden we go on and we have Crosby who's to come and find this, this alley and is to uh, go on and talk to a guy named Trojan Nash, uh, who's one of his thugs. So to like tell him to go on and shoot all these like these cops and shoot all these people to make sure they're all dead. So the nurse is to go on and take care of this girl who has had this blood sh uh, gunshot wound, and so. We go on, we have uh, Everest and the nurse trying to like tag team this. And so we go on and they fix this girl up. And then when she gets up, like we of course have it where come to find out Morgan was to be somehow or another tied to Bo, which is actually the nurse's like son. And so... Morgan is to talk about how uh, it seemed that a, a number of years ago, Bo was to have OD'd and be found at some pier somewhere, underneath some some pier. So we have Morgan who is apologizing, and the nurse is just like, well, it's okay. And so... We go on, and at some point we have it when uh, the nurse is just kind of waiting for Jeff Goldblum's character co to come in. The nurse is to go on and, and tell uh, Everest, like, okay, like, I you're going to wait till, like, he comes in here, and then I'll tell you to, like, move this girl then. So we have it to where people are starting to, like, mix things up. Uh, in this hotel, we have Acapulco, who ends up talking to Nice. And so Acapulco is trying to hit on Nice. And we all of a sudden have Waikiki, who kind of steps in and is to get in Acapulco's face to where he's like touching his coat. And it's like, hey, man, like, don't touch me. <laughs> and so... Waikiki is to finally just go on and just be like, well, hey, man, like, uh, I want to, like, I'm really trying to, like, keep my business my business, but, like, if anything, uh, this niece girl, like, she's, like, she's really good, like, she's the business, I'm just some, like, thug, so, because so we go on, we find out that Waikiki and niece have had some backstory between the two of them, and so it seems that Nice had gone all the way and been 
um, like this kind of corporate hitman where she used to go, go on and had this eye implant. And so it seems that she is to have a hit where the guy who wants this person dead wants to see through this girl's eye uh, this person being killed so that way they can just kind of uh, fluff off of fluff off of it uh, when of course they uh, they go on and, and see this person dead. So Waikiki is like, well, that's freaking gross. And Nisa is just like, well, that's just, that's what they want. So, and the more and more that Nisa is to realize how difficult this case is, she consistently goes on to ask for more money or a raise or something like that. So we go on and we have Nisa who at one point is to go to the rooftop after talking to uh, Waikiki and uh, Acapulco. So Acapulco seems to be desperately wanting to go on and get a uh, helicopter being brought to this place because he, of course, wants to just get the heck out of here because there's a riot coming soon. And so he, of course, is to to want to get the heck out of there before the riot breaks out and who knows what else is going to happen. So we even have Everest who's telling uh, the nurse about like, well, hey, like, like this riot is kind of possibly coming our way. It's like three blocks over here. And, and we just have um, the nurse who's just like, you know what? I think, uh, I think we'll be fine. So we go on into this story and We have where Nice is to go on and speak with Acapulco at the roof, and she is to put a bomb that looks like cigarettes in uh, in by one of the generators, so the power goes out. So we have Waikiki who goes through Honolulu stuff and finds this pen. And Waikiki is to show this pen to Nice, and Nice is to realize that this is uh, to be the Wolf King's uh, pen with all these uh, diamonds in it. And if you ever steal from him, you're going to go on and be dumped into the ocean. Like, you're never going to be able to... You're never going to be able to get out of where he sends you. So... We go on and the Wolf King is to make his way in here. And so we consistently have Crosby who wants to go on with his father to kind of watch this whole thing go down. And we of course have the nurse who won't let anybody come in that isn't a member. And so we we have it where of course the nurse is to restrain Crosby and then just have uh, the Wolf King come in and like be put onto this bed. And Everest is going on and trying as quickly as possible to bring Morgan out there. And Waikiki is to notice that this girl has cop boots. So he tells uh, he, of course, tells Everest, is like, hey, like, don't let this girl, like, be seen by these people. So Everest had to go through these hidden passages to be able to protect this girl. Because Waikiki was to mention, like, oh, like, this girl's definitely a cop. You can tell by her boots. So Everest goes through this secret passageway. So... We, of course, have uh, Nigeria, who is Jeff Goldblum's character, who is talking to Crosby. And so we have these kind of goofy lines where Crosby is to mention that, like, 
that he always ever wanted to be like his dad and his dad is mentioning it's like well like that's that's the reason why like i felt like you were like always like so soft and so we of course have nigeria who goes on and gives his son this pen or the, this ring and tells him like hey like you should easily be able to figure out like what to do with this if something ever goes wrong. So we so we have Nigeria who goes off to his room and the nurse is taking care of him. And so while the nurse is going on and taking care of him, all of a sudden we have uh, Nigeria, who all of a sudden spills uh, something about Bo. So the nurse is to kind of wake Nigeria up, and she has this feeling that Nigeria somehow or another is to know something about Bo. So the nurse starts questioning him about Bo. It's like, well, how do you know, like, my son exactly? Like, how, or, or like, how do you know him exactly? So... Come to find out, Nigeria had had a car stolen from uh, the nurse, it's his son Bo, and that of course led him to be dumped into the ocean and killed. So this guy just didn't OD and then tried to do himself in. No, Nigeria had gotten his car stolen by the guy named Bo, and so he killed him for it. And so now we have it to where all of a sudden the power goes off because this bomb goes off. So the nurse is scrambling, trying to figure out uh, who it is that she has to go on and save. Because we have Waikiki who goes through this 3D printer and is to print out this goofy looking gun. And we had a uh, Acapulco who ends up uh, doing the same thing once he is to regain consciousness. So the power ends up going out. And so we, so we go on here and The nurse is to scramble to Honolulu because Honolulu was on life support. And so once that all get y got yanked out, like we had it to where now Honolulu, like he, of course, uh, was just like barely surviving. So we have it where the nurse is beginning and doing CPR. And so Honolulu ends up dying. The nurse is to now tell uh, Waikiki here. It's like, well, hey, like, sorry, like, it's all I can do. So it seemed that Waikiki was to immediately know, like, what was going on. And so he is to go on and find Nice and want to shoot her and want to kill her simply for the fact that she knew that Honolulu was on life support when niece was to pull the plug and so niece all that she really cared about was her payday instead of going on and caring about waikiki's brother so we have where waikiki is very tempted to kill niece here then Acapulco was to show up and he is to go on and shoot Nice in the leg. And then I think shoot Waikiki possibly in the uh like in the the like the chest part where uh there isn't uh a thing to kind of be put his armor because the guy has to have like a Kevlar vest on. So Hence why I think he ends up getting shot a couple times in the back. But, like, really he's 
easily protected because he went on and had a, a Kevlar vest uh, being installed into a suit. So when Waikiki was touching Honolulu, he ended up finding this card hidden in, in his wallet. So pickpocketing him, of course, finding out that he had this card that could make this gun. And so Waikiki d like doesn't really use uh, doesn't really have the ability to use the, this gun that well or this much. So we go further into this story, and so I'm trying to think if there's anything that I've kind of left out. Some so. It seems that we have Crosby, who is to desperately think that, like, since the power out is out, like, his dad is dead. And so he's consistently asking people, like, where's my father? Because that's all he gives a shit about. So we go on and they, like, are to use explosives to get to Crosby's dad. And so... Of course, like... Uh, we have it where uh, they're like, hey, who's doing that? Who's who's doing those explosives? And the nurse is like, well, the new owner, realizing that, of course, um, Nigeria had flatlined. So we go on, and so Morgan ends up getting out of this place, and Everest is to kind of escort her out. So she's safe. She's fine. So... We go on into this story and this, like, a helicopter never comes for Acapulco. And so the power ended up getting going out. And so now it's this, like, this race to just see who can get out of here alive. Because now since uh, Crosby Franklin and his men are to all find out now that Jeff Goldblum's character is dead, they, they're they out for blood. So now the nurse and uh, Waikiki are to both kind of leave together as both Nice and Everest are to basically go on and try to kind of kill off all these guys to make way for both of these uh, two characters escaping. So Everest is go on is, and is to mention to these guys about this like slow code because there's certain um, doctors that have certain kind of codes for things. So Everest is to mention that there is a slow code where if somebody doesn't realize that they're dead yet, that eventually they have to come to realize that they are going to die. And Everest is to tell this to Crosby, realizing that, hey, dude, you're going to die soon, and you need to know that now. You need to be prepared for your death. So Everest to go on and start making his way through a lot of these men and, and killing a lot of them. And so these guys are, like, bashing through these walls, trying to get to um what would be nice and so nice is going on and using these like kind of uh these daggers these little like they look like scalpels are so small and so it seems like this girl nice is going through and killing all these people till utter exhaustion because there's a number of guys just all lined up so we never get to see nice's death or we never get to see everest's death either um it seems like at the end of the night like it seems like he's fine and so he ends up putting back on his uh his his card to go on and try to figure out how he can turn the hotel artemis uh neon lights back on so we have both waikiki and the nurse who are making their way out of this place with some kind of secret underground uh, tunnel or some secret underground thing. And so 
uh, because that was the way that uh, that of course the nurse was to come here the first time around. And so the backstory of this was that the nurse was to go on and just uh, try to nurse up like certain kind of distrays that she was to find. But then all of a sudden Jeff Goldblum's character was to come in and say like, well, hey, like how about you go on and have this be kind of like a membership thing and be like a very exclusive, like, uh, like medical, like hospital kind of thing. And so, uh, the nurse agreed to that. And so like they, they put up this like, uh, uh exclusive, uh, hospital clinic like thing. And so they've been kind of just running that ever since. So we go on and we have both the nurse and Waikiki who are to make their way down this like underground opening to all of a sudden have Crosby who is to also make it through this, uh, through this opening through the other way. And so now we have Crosby saying that he's like, well, hey, like Waikiki, hey, I'll let you go, but like you got to leave the nurse here. So because Waikiki is to buy his way out by giving him these diamonds. And so he's like, hey, I'll let you out. And Waikiki is like, no, like, I'm not going to go on and, like, leave this girl behind. So they go on and they have to fight Crosby. And they go on and they, they're trying to take him down. And the nurse ends up going on and giving him an ejection that would be the size of a, a really big ele elephant. Waikiki is to go on blind, uh, blind Crosby with these kind of nanites being sprayed in his eyes. Cause we had it to where Waikiki was to get like these nanites being fused into his injury. So like we had that, a lot of that going on. So like we also had niece who ended up getting shot in the arm and like there was like nanites working on her also. So we go on and have Waikiki and the nurse just kind of scrambling out of here. And they're both getting to this car and Waikiki is to have this like kind of secret compartment under the, the, the license plate to get these keys and he's like hey like i'm gonna come into this car and let's just get the heck out of here and the nurse and she's kind of gone on and she's really far out here now she's like you know what like i'm not gonna go with you i'm just gonna go on and just find random people and and probably help them like i did before and waikiki is like are you sure and she's like yeah like i'll, I'll just go out there and just help random people and like that's what I kind of like have ever wanted to do and Waikiki is like okay we'll see you later so the nurse goes on and she's just kind of walking through the town just like da -da 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 -da. it's a riot I'm sure a lot of people are going to get hurt so the nurse is just to make her way through town and all of a sudden sees the 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 neon lights back on and she's like, well, hey, just keep uh, keep it Christmas, babe. And she, <laughs> like, walks off. So come to find out the nurse was to go on and at one point help uh, Batista at some point, uh, Everest's character, and break the rules to have him eventually... Uh, like nurse Everest possibly back to health health and Everest in return went on to become the nurse's medical assistant and uh so hence why when the nurse is to mention about Morgan and Everest is just like well I don't like that you're bringing in this cop and you're breaking your own rules. The nurse is to go on. It's like, well, I broke the rules before with you. And look how that turned out. 
the nurse is to also go on and have Waikiki and her just kind of talk about how everything is like Harry thing like just was uh, to turn out the way it did for this night. How like all the rules are being broken and and like Waikiki is like yeah even your own <laughs> it's like you decided to break your own rules so yeah like everything was to just kind of hit the fan in this movie. Uh, but man, was this just a fun piece of film. I really enjoyed it. So uh, with that said, I think I've covered most of this movie. And I felt like I also did it in a very rushing manner. But I went back into things. Uh, yeah, like I, I feel okay enough to just kind of call this one a, a review. Because who knows really how uh, anybody's going to really want to watch this review. Because it's not an easy, accessible accessible movie but hey if it goes out of a way to go on uh i guess i forgot how guess uh i forgot if i graded this movie probably not uh i would still have to say this is a very positive movie uh as far as just my enjoyment of it um probably i don't know if i would go on to say that this is a great film uh but i i would probably say that this is a solid good film uh Maybe because to me, like, I wish there was just more action, but I love Dave Bautista in any film. Um, I really enjoyed the concept of this, of this kind of, like, membership, uh, like, hotel, uh, hospital. Just seemed really interesting to me. I really enjoyed this whole idea of it. And it also has this kind of dread-like feel. If anybody was to go on and see the the Carl Urban movie Dread, it kind of feels like that a lot. Um, so yeah, really, I would say solid, good film. I enjoyed it. It was great in the the uh, in the in the way of it just kind of being put together. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy.